What is going on, everybody? It is Nick, and we are starting our day ripping. It's pretty late here in Brooklyn, North Carolina. If you're going to be starting your day, it's like free something. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do today is drop the packages. So we already got some things to take care of. This big old ball house. We got this for like 10 bucks, and we sold it for 130 or 140. But it did take like four or five months to sell. And then we've also got these little packages down here. We sold that for $90, some wheelchair wheels. We're gonna take this over to there. That is a postal connection store where pretty much you can drop off anything that you've got. They'll get it to your carrier and get it where it needs to go. So let's go ahead and do that first. All right, guys, so we got a couple of our packages in the mail. However, they did not have a box big enough for that guy. So uh, I know I get this all the time on my channel. Like, how do I ship really big items? And this thing is huge. So what we're gonna do is go to a home improvement store later on today. I'm gonna find a box. We're gonna put that box together. I'll try to get all of that on camera. So if you stick around for the full length of this video, at the very end, you can see some easy tips that you can do to put some things together, and that'll help make big stuff shipping way easier, okay? Stay with us. Let's go shopping. All right, recording is in process. Welcome to your local Goodwill. We're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who's gotta push the cart. Ready? One, two, three, go. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh! Me and Kaya, come on, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Goodwill, Daddy lost, so he's gonna be pushing the cart. Let's see what we can find, guys. You belong to me. And let's roll. All right, so I picked my daughter to push the cart since I'm not gonna be able to do my Zoom action, which you all love. And as always, we're gonna start with the shoe category. You may notice that I'm not flipping over every single shoe because I really don't care about all the shoes, guys. I honestly only wanna find a couple brands that I know I'm gonna be able to flip really quick. And they look like some of these. So obviously these are Nike Rockets, but those are small. I'm really looking for the men's shoes and the women's shoes. But if they're baby shoes and they are uh man these aren't too bad but if they're baby shoes and they're jordans i always try to pick those up these are just busted um really busted let's see what they, they price them at six dollars though which is pretty normal my store guys tell me what is the average price of shoes at your local goodwill and this is my really nice neighborhood goodwill too so to be seeing fancy shoes like that is always a draw under armor i've never seen these but these are really nice condition so we'll look those up Look at these. I, I wish those were New Balances, but they're not. Let's go ahead and see. Like I said, mainly I'm looking for Jordans, Nike, Ace, and um, and Brooks running shoes. So today that would be phenomenal. I'm not seeing any, um, but look, you know, I think honestly the the easy part of this is that when you come in here and you're looking for only certain things a ton of time trying to learn everything. So if you don't know what kind of items I normally sell, which is about $2,000 this year, and that may not sound like a lot, but all I had to do was take pictures of it. I don't know any of the other things. So let's go over to that store. All right, so over here, we've got tons and tons of stuff. Look at this. I doubt this is the Omni kerosene heater. Oh, it is. They priced this thing at 65 bucks. Hey, Dan, we might want to look that up. Um, that that might be worth some money. Charity for me. <laughs> Another benefit to having kids. They'll sit on all your inventory so the resellers don't scalp them. You guys can see these things are still here. Um, those are up on eBay for $149. i am just waiting for them to go a little lower. As always, the, the brass lamps that have mates are a good sale. But I'm not really vested in those yet. We saw this toaster last time we were here. You can check our previous episode if you want to know why we passed on it. This is actually good to flip on uh, Marketplace. They are asking 20 and they'll thank you. A lot of these items you guys can take and piece out and make $20 back easily. The only problem is that's probably the most you're going to make on some of these high ticket items. Another thing I always like to tell people is when you find an item like this, open it. You never know. You might find something inside. And this one just tells us the tag, Samsonite Classic 100, that actually might be a really good one. Let's find out. They only want $5.99 for it? Yeah. We'll have to check that out. Um, let's see what else we got here. Some games. This is like a charging port or something. Not really sure. Look at those. Oh my goodness. Are these gorgeous or what? Wow. 
and they're asking fifteen dollars, and these are just good mitts. And look at the look at the top part. Remember, I told you guys when you get lamps, you want to make sure that they've got those things, those knobs at the top. The nicer the knobs, I guess, the more appeal. And I'm not kidding. If you can find those little glass knobs, I had somebody pick mine up really quick. So I think that's well worth um, understanding or looking. We're almost at the end here. We got a Zephyl here. I don't think I'm going to get anything. Maybe those lamps, but that's about it. That might be the only thing I end up getting. What'd you find, Kai? Oh, yeah. What is that? Always a place to find tools. Not bad. Here we go. This is called Inky Overdrive for 20 bucks. No idea what it is. Um, oh, dude, it's a race car set. However, I don't know if it's all together. So we're going to take a look at this see what we got we can of course check this side of the street too um you know the the one thing i do encourage if you guys ever want tips about this please come every day i mean the more often you come guess what? you start recognizing this new old and can you look up this one sweetie let me know how much. i only want 65 for it and the winner is how much you say it was 195 plus 50 dollars shipping 65 sold. and only one sold last month or April period 11th. april 11th how many are up and what's the lowest we'll probably end up passing on that one let's go to the other side of the store billy but before we do back here you guys know always check the box it's never coming to be a really nice time and so when they put their bikes for like 20 bucks 29.99 not bad you can buy these bikes for 20 dollars all day and sell them on facebook marketplace for 40 to 50 dollars easy so i don't know about this vintage bike oh this is a schwinn look at the seat oh but they priced it a hundred dollars so these sweet these seats are really nice i don't i can't tell if this is vintage or just made to look vintage but it's a schwinn gateway and uh, i sold one of these schwinn bikes for fourteen hundred dollars and um you know it was a, it was a really nice bike and I didn't have to pay anything to get it. But yeah, any of these bikes that you all can see, if you can get those up on um, Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks, you can make a quick flip. She's just sitting here, so we'll add her to the card of things to look up. All right, and then the last section of the store today that we're gonna hit for this store is the toy section. And uh, what I wanna do is find out if I can see any of the brands I love. Octonauts, Paw Patrols, um, those brands are so really, really well on Facebook Marketplace. And anytime you can find those really cheap, those are easy flips on Facebook. Look at these. Skating, these are really cool. They only want $2 for these. That's nice. Um, and we're just gonna, like I said, Paw Patrol. Okay. I'm looking here, ooh, that's a big play place thing. All right, I'm not seeing anything. So the last section we'll do is over there. And we've been in here for about just a little bit over seven minutes. So um, we've got a few things we can check out. But then you can compare this to your normal lunch break. Those are nice. Are these, I think these might be fake shoes. I can't tell. Oh, $24.99, these ain't fake. They look these up. So let's look those up too. Do some due diligence here. Okay, I'm not seeing the prime. Oh, not bad. These are pretty small. New balances. They only want six for them. Let's go ahead and try those out. Last hour, we either dive or fly here. Those are nice, but the bottom of them are not that friendly. I wish that was Columbia. Okay, I'm thinking we got what we got. We're going to go ahead and look these up. Let's see what we'll get and what we'll take home with us or what we'll leave. You found something? Try it. Not down that one. Look at that, man. I'm guessing that our boots are going to be the big winner for us today. I've never seen these. Well, not this anyways. They're called Steel Shank and they're made in Korea for 10 bucks. Let's look it up. All right, let's go see what we got. So I'm in the thrift store and I see this guy sitting here. I'm not a can of dolls, but when I opened this guy up, I saw this. Now, one, that was a bit scary because that doll looked real. But two, this lady is responsible for making dolls that are selling for over $150 pre-owned on eBay. 
that is not a bad deal. So I'm getting ready to walk out team and check this one out. So this is not an inexpensive doll. Uh, masterpiece Gallery has a few different artists. They're asking $2.99 for this. Uh, but this lady's dolls, depending on who it is, I saw Pamela's doll. This is Berdine Creedy. And uh, it's 32 out of 600. Wow. But um, it's selling, some of her dolls are selling for $90 to $100 on eBay. So that's not too bad of a flip. Well, team, we left that store not defeated, but we definitely didn't find anything worth flipping. There were a few things that you could have found. The dolls were nice. Uh, and there's a few other stuff too that we fought, we saw that we could have flipped. Uh, but at this point, we really only want to make two to three times our money. And if we got to ship a big item to make the same amount of money that we could make if we shipped a small item, we normally will pass on them. So, oh, this Goodwill is the bomb typically. Today, it exploded and uh, it wasn't in our favor. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Salvation Army that is that way. If you want to continue shopping with us and find some cool deals, feel free to keep following. Make sure that you hit the subscribe and the follow button and I'm gonna see you in a couple minutes over there.